Welcome to the recap of today's CodeBuddies.org live code hangout. Today we're working on hopefully last mile improvements to the Western Friend website uh, prior to beta testing. And then there will be you know, probably a lot more improvements to be uh, made in terms of the aesthetic and maybe finding uh, bugs or adding features and functionality that was overlooked during the development process. But in any case, we're getting prepared for beta testing and early user feedback. So this um, pull request is kind of a catch-all, mainly looking at content uh, migration still from Drupal to Wagtail CMS, but also uh, cleaning up some stuff, fixing some bugs along the way, and adding a bit of documentation. So uh, today I added uh, some instructions for myself mainly to remember how uh, to get the Drupal content into Wagtail, starting with the magazine content model. Um, the main changes, we are working with um, uh, Django management commands. So um, passing in um, arguments in CSV, uh, past the CSV files essentially on my local computer. Um, added a little bit of deduping logic um, where I was actually previously not storing the Drupal node ID. I added this field you'll see in a moment and checking whether uh, magazine articles exist. These magazines uh, articles exist, uh, sorry, import at a relatively slow rate, around one to two per second, because um, some of them need to re request uh, some multimedia, like a PDF or an image over the network, and uh, it takes a long time. So I, I just want to uh, not have to re import. Also, I don't want to create duplicate content. Um, one of the bugs I discovered today, this code was about a year old, and so the NumPy um, project has matured and a major version, or I believe at least a minor version was released since that code was written. Um, and the way we checked for, the way NumPy imported uh, CSV data changed slightly, I think, and maybe I was using a deprecated way of checking for empty values. Um, in a um, in NumPy column. So just needed to go through and change. And it's actually a little bit more clean. I like the um, if something is not rather than if not is something. It's kind of it's more semantically clean. Um, this is, change I made today was just to remove some redundant code. We're, we're just now using the columns directly. Previously, the column structure had changed, but uh, hadn't cleaned up the old code. Um, this is part of the pull request where we uh, didn't write today, but uh, initially creating content menus that um, display the, um, that render for navigation purposes. Let me actually just run this project. So we go to the front page, for example. We have this menu up here that allows you to navigate. Most of the changes um, aren't visible in the front end, aside from the code, the uh, actually content being imported. And uh, as you can see, I've got some duplicates uh, here because of um, my logic for duplicating, deduplicating the imports wasn't written at that point in time. Uh, actually, we're reading this on GitHub. And this change I made today just to put the, um, to change the menu order on the Wagtail admin, we've got this media library that was at the bottom. I moved it up a little higher. Here's a migration route today, adding the Drupal node ID so that way we could keep track of which articles had been imported. And it follows actually with the archive article node ID because I'm importing a lot of content and wanting to de duplicate it. So here's the actual field definition. It's a positive integer field that's nullable, well, optional in the form because we want to be able to add new um, articles without having a Drupal node idea as the intention is to move away from Drupal. So we won't be entering the content in Drupal any longer. These changes were made previously um, user interface to user interface um, menu. Uh, based on feedback during a review session with Mary. So not a lot of uh, code changes today, mainly documentation. 
and I've gone, I've run through the importers, uh, you know, the scaffolding of initial content, importing magazine art, uh, issues and articles and uh, departments and everything seems to work. I wrote that code over a year ago. It only needed some minor changes, again, because the NumPy um, project has matured. But uh, there were some errors in, encountered in the data that, I guess, um, is natural when you're uh, having to do some um, have a human in the loop to make some change to, changes to the data. Uh, the raw data is coming through CSV and then the authors, not the articles, we are manually determining um, whether uh, an author is a person, a meeting, or an organization because they have slightly different uh, structures. People have a uh, given name and family name. Meetings just have a title, but will come to later. They have some additional metadata that's not being imported here. And organizations similarly have a title and a little bit of uh, additional metadata. So we combine these in, under the concept of a contact, but they still need to be have slightly different treatment and data structures. All right, well, that's been a summary of today's CodeBuddies.org live code hangout. If you'd like to get involved with this or other projects, stop by codebuddies.org. You can join lots of ongoing hangouts, groups uh, to find people who are studying or interested in similar topics and ongoing discussions. This code is available on GitHub if you'd like to check it out for your own projects, github.com slash Western Friend. Thanks a lot for your time. Have a great day and I hope you're doing well.